Okay, um, we've been talking about vapor liquid equilibrium in class, and now we're going to get into the details a little more of how to go about designing some equipment to separate uh, two or more materials based on the vapor liquid equilibrium. And the first thing, uh, well, the equipment that we're going to be talking about are flash drums. So let me just give you an introduction to flash drum distillation. So distillation is the process of separating materials uh, based on their vapor liquid equilibrium properties. Uh, typically we add heat to separate them, uh, but a flash drum is what we use. And a typical flash drum may have something like this. I set up what I'm drawing here, where we have some sort of drum. And it's just like a typical barrel or drum you might uh, uh, see you've seen before. But we have some feed coming in, and uh, some flow rate, and some concentration. Z, uh, the more volatile component, we usually use Z as the concentration of the more volatile component. And it comes in at some temperature, some pressure. It goes through a heat exchanger to add some heat to bring it up to some temperature. And then we have some feed temperature, uh, some pressure. Might go through a valve here, like I've uh, drawn here. It'll have some sort of enthalpy. Uh, after it uh, has been heated up, goes through this heat exchanger, goes through this valve, and then comes inside this drum here. And then we have T drum, P drum for the pressure and temperature of the drum. And then it comes out and leaves with a, a flow rate L and watt, L and V, where V is the vapor flow rate, L is the liquid flow rate, the concentration of the, or the a mole fraction, I should say, a mole fraction of the um, more volatile component is Y, the mole fraction of the more volatile component in the liquid is X, and HV, HL, I just put bars because those are per mass. And so this would be the typical setup that we have here. We have feed coming in, it's being heated up, we might have some sort of valve to control the pressure, it goes into this drum, and this drum has some some of it goes off as vapor, some of it goes off as liquid, uh, flow rate V, flow rate L, flow rate F, concentration or mole fraction Z of the feed, um, mole fraction Y in the vapor stage, mole fraction X in the liquid stage, and that's basically more or less it. Inside the drum, let me just give you a schematic of inside, what we'll typically have is some sort of liquid, so we'll have vapor, liquid, and those two are in equilibrium with each other and the vapor comes off and the liquid comes off. And of course we have a feed coming in there. But that's the typical setup of a drum. Um, let's give you a simplified view which we'll oftentimes use. F and Z, V, Y, L, X, feed rate of the feed, feed rate or the exit rate of the vapor, exit rate of the liquid, mole concentration of the more volatile component Z, mole uh, fraction of the more volatile component Y in the vapor stage, and then mole fraction X. We can write out um, some material balances. So let me go ahead and write some of those. Um, this should be second nature hopefully to you by now or almost getting to be second nature so that's our material balances we can write out an energy balance and I can write this out as what's going in is equal to what's going out don't have a V hat on there. Just V times H V hat plus L times H L hat. So that is our energy balance. And when we go about solving or designing a flash drum, these are the type of variables we have to worry about right here. 
These are the type of equations that we work with. Uh, we're probably not going to work too much with the energy balances, mostly using material balances, but we'll see this in the uh, um, future uh, discussions or lectures. But that's pretty much it, how the, the basics of flash uh, drum distillation. Um, and the more, again, the more volatile component ends up here, while the less volatile component is um, concentrated in the liquid phase. Um, if you want to see more details on flash drums, see what they actually look like or so forth, you could just Google flash drum and look at some images and you'll see some um, images of actual flash drums. So there you go. Thanks.